when you receive notice that a paper has been graded, uh, which you will by email, you can return to the course that's cited, such as M20 in this particular case, and go to the assignment that has been graded, which in this case is SA1. When you click on SA1, it will take you to your, uh, the assignment again, and you're going to see that it has been submitted uh, for grading and that it has been graded. And if you will scroll down, you're going to see the feedback information. There's your grade, who it graded it, in this case, Dr. Shrigley, and then the feedback comments. Uh, dear example student, you did a great job. I noticed that, and it goes on from there. If you click this button, it will expand it so you can see all of the comments. In some cases, um, or in all cases, you will be able to see feedback from the professor, where in this case, Dr. Shrigley wrote, for additional thoughts and recommendations, see the attached feedback file. If you click on that, it will allow you to download that file and you'll be able to read more about what the professor thought of your paper and get feedback on theological concepts, grammatical errors, things like that, things that can help you along. Uh, and that's how you do it if the paper receives a passing grade. Uh, at Nations University, we spend a lot of time talking to students and interacting with students. And so, uh, over papers. You may write a, a paper that you feel is really good and we may think you did a great job, but it may need some improvements. If that happens, then sometimes we will reopen the assignment for you. Uh, and when you scroll down here, you won't see this. You're going to see something a little different. So I'm going to go to the second essay in this course. And I'm going to click on this one. And in this particular case, if you look, you're going to see uh, that this assignment has been reopened and this is attempt number two. In other words, the first attempt did not pass, uh, but don't think of it that way. Think of, hey, the professor had some recommendations for me that he wants me to look at, so he reopened the assignment for me. If you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see those uh, that information. So here is uh, attempt one, and it's going to tell you that you uh, had uh, submitted the paper, though this one says no submission at this point. It shows no grade. Don't panic. That just means the professor wants you to do some work. You can click on, again, the plus sign and you can see what the professor said. You had some good thoughts in your paper, but did not address the specific of the assignment. I've attached some recommendations in the feedback file, read through the file and make the changes. After doing so, resubmit the assignment. So you would go and you would open that, you would download this file, you would read through the recommendations that the professor gave you and work on writing a new paper and or revising the paper that you have uh, at hand. And that's how you would go through uh, the assignment. So then down below the assignment is where you're gonna find out. Go back, open it, scroll down. It's gonna say it's been reopened, which tells you, hey, uh, I've got work to do. Uh, it was not graded because you have work to do. And then you scroll down and this is where you get the information on the corrections that you need to make. Uh, click on this, download it, and work on it. Some professors will put their recommendations in the feedback comments. So you might have a very long uh, feedback uh, from a professor saying, here's what I want you to work on. Uh, and then there may or may not be a feedback file, but always look for the feedback comments and the feedback file uh, down where it says previous attempts. So in this case now, he's ready for you to uh, begin work on a new uh, paper. So after you've rewritten it and you can come back to this exact same place and you click on interview essay and you come back down and then you click on add a new attempt and that's going to open this up and once again you're able to drop the new revised paper right into this box and click Save Changes and the new file will be submitted for your professor to grade. Hopefully that will help you get through uh, your assignments and understanding where the feedback is. Uh, of course, if you have trouble, you can always contact your advisor. And that's the end of this video as well. So I hope that worked for you.